Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Pika Cube, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you this counter that I made, and this is a counter for our computer that we're making. So here we have just a register. It's a 8-bit register. As you can see, it's got 8 data bits. Um, and basically, that's just going in this loop through um, this uh, adder, and we just have a constant 1, so it adds 1. Um, and we could put that up here at the at the um this what is it called the carry in but I was experiencing problems with that as I remember um anyway we've got it into the second the B input and then that's just going right back around right back into the register and here we have the output and the clear going into the register and the clock going into the register and then we have an input so if we want to input our own um number into the counter by the way this is a program counter so it's counting um, which program address we're on in the program memory. And I'll get to that in the next episode. But basically, here's our input, and that's just going into this loop. And we have input enable. So when I click this on, it's disabling this, uh, the adder going in, and it's enabling the input going in, basically just switching between the adder output and the input here. So that's basically the input enable, and this clock or this uh, counter. Let me see if I can demonstrate. I'll have to tick the clock manually anyway. So right now it's at zero. So if I just start ticking it, you can see the output over here is now it's at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so on, um, and you can see the hex uh, for it right here. Now make sure that your output is connected to in between the register and the adder, otherwise the clear won't work. Um, I was experiencing problems before when it was hooked up right about, uh, let me see if I can do this. It was hooked up right here, and you can see I've just cleared it and it's still at 1. And that's because it clears it, but it also adds 1. and so you have problems with that so make sure it's hooked up in between the register and your adder in uh, after the output of the register anyway thanks for watching make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you later bye